Hi, I'm Ben from Rhinomex Campers, and today we're out with the Scorpion 10-foot micro-hybrid camper. This is an extremely popular camper because of the size and weight and how many features are packed into it. Today we're going to go through some of the latest revisions and improvements to the model and show you how easy it is to set up and take around Australia. So here we are at our campsite. The first thing we've done is unhitch the vehicle here and put down some stabilizer legs to level out the campsite for us. Now the first thing we're gonna do because it's such a hot day is pull the awning out and get ourselves some shade. The handle for that is conveniently located in the front box here. Just goes up into the front of the awning there and just winds out. Now you want to bring this out about a metre or so at first, just so that you've got enough room to get the legs out from the face of the cassette. Pitch the legs out in the angle that you're taking the awning. And then keep winding it out. And there you go, how easy is that? Now you've got a lovely bit of shade to escape the heat of the day. Now you've got the awning up, the next step is to open the door and put the roof up. To do that, you have to first release the two clips on the back of the van. We'll then open up the entrance door. Secure the door back here with the latch and just push the roof up nice and easily here. The roof is actually supported by two gas struts, so it makes it lifting it extra easy even when there are those two solar panels up on the roof. The next feature I'm going to take you through is the kitchen setup. This is an extremely popular feature on all of the Rhinomex campers because of how easy and practical it is to use. The kitchen is located in the front compartment here, comes out easily on these two runners, and then you've got a large stainless prep bench that folds over here. No legs or anything are required, so it's very easy. You've got a very large pantry drawer on the top here for storing all of your cooking items. Lower down here, you've got a three burner cooker and you've got a large sink here with hot and cold mixer tap. A useful feature of this tap you can see is that it actually folds all the way over here so you can fill up taller items like large water bottles and things like kettles. Now underneath here, you've got another storage drawer and an under sink cupboard here. So plenty of storage around your kitchen. Now in this storage box on the front, you've got a large fridge or fridge freezer, depending on which one you'd like for your setup. It makes a very convenient awning space here with the L-shaped set out, as you can see. And also, if you would like to extend the awning space, we do offer awning extensions, which will actually bring a cover out here and protect the fridge from the elements as well and give you a larger entertaining area. I think you can agree that this is a very convenient kitchen setup for such a small camper. So here we are at the front end of the Scorpion Hybrid and I'm going to take you through some of the features that make using this camper so convenient. Now on the top of this front box we've actually optioned up on this model a cargo basket which is perfect for carrying awkward and large items like firewood or dirty items like ground mats. You can also option that up to have different things on there like swag carriers or bike racks. Now as you move down, we've got a pole storage box inside here, which is great for carrying things like your handles for your awnings and your drop down legs, anti-flap kits, bits of hose, anything awkward that you just want to get easy access to. 
as we go down here, you can see that there's actually a lockable storage area here for two four and a half litre gas bottles. On either side of that, you've got storage um, pockets for two 20 litre jerry cans. You might notice that the whole front of this is actually sloped downwards and covered in a protective paint. So that's to help protect the trailer and your car from stone impacts and help deflect them down and away while traveling. Now, as we move further down, you can see that we've actually got a tall jockey wheel here, which helps you get up to the correct hitch height for most four wheel drives. And that's mounted on a galvanized chassis here, specifically made to go off road and withstand impacts from things like stones and things like that and to not chip. All of that is actually pulled along by the Cruise Master DO35 articulated hitch, which is just absolutely perfect for all off-road environments. And I think you can agree that it's just a very convenient front end here. Now, as we walk around the opposite side here to where the fridge is, there's actually a large storage boot here, which is great for items like barbecues and things like that. I think you'll agree there's heaps of space here for a small camper. Rhinomax campers are designed and manufactured with off-grid touring in mind. All of our campers now come with lithium power systems as standard and multiple ways of keeping those charged to keep you off-grid for longer. At first, we've got the roof-mounted solar panels. Now they're fixed and always charging, whether you're towing or set up at the campsite. Additional ways of getting charge in, down at the front here, you've got one Anderson lead here, which will plug into your car and charge while towing. And you've got another one here, which allows you to connect an additional solar panel if you'd like, which is particularly useful if you'd like to park your van underneath a tree and take advantage of some shade, but also still get solar charge into your van. Now finally, up the side here, we've got a 240 volt charger, which will be able to charge your van if you're at home, at a campsite, or if you've got a generator. I think you'll agree that it's a pretty good system and power is not gonna be what stops you from going further. Here we are on the driver's side of the Scorpion, where you've got the larger storage hatches and your utility connections. I'll take you through those now. So up the front, in the front box here, you've got a large storage area, as mentioned in the previous section, perfect for putting items like barbecues. In the body of the camper here, you've got an even larger storage boot, which is very wide and deep here, perfect for putting things like your outdoor settings, tables and chairs and things like that. Inside this section here, you've got the lithium power plant and a lot of your electronics. As you move further back, you've got a water pressure reducer here, which allows you to connect to pressurized water if you're at a campsite, and a water filler cap here, which allows you to fill the onboard water tank. As we keep moving back, you've got a 15 amp power charger here. So that'll um, basically charge your van if you're at a campsite or if you're at home getting ready to go on tour. As you move further back, you've got access here to your porta potty. It's important to note that this can actually be used on the inside of the van as well. This is just an easy access point if you're emptying it or if you'd like to put it in the ensuite at the back. Now down here we've got a very popular feature of our vans, which we've nicknamed the Creek Draw Facility. Basically this allows you to um, pump water into the van and use it from an external water source. So if you're lucky enough to be right next to a creek or if you've got a jerry can with extra water there. And then at the very back here you've got the vent for your gas hot water system. So this is great to have all of these on the opposite side of the van to the awning so that you're not interfering when you're cooking or entertaining on that side of the van. Another signature feature on the Rhinomax hybrid campers is the external shower pods. They're extremely quick and easy to set up and very practical to use. Let me take you through it now. So first you just want to move the spare wheel out and around out the way. That locks into place with a chute bolt there. It's two clips, one either side of the shower pod. Once they're released, the gas struts will lift the shower pod up and out the way. There's clips on the inside and the outside here, which release the material. That'll sit nicely on the floor there, or if it's an overly windy day, you can peg it down. I'll just roll up the entrance door here. And 
that Velcro is out of the way at the top. On the inside, there's a zip window here where you can attach the shower head. And then also on the inside here, you've got a little courtesy light and you've got some storage pockets to put your shampoos in. I think you can agree that's a very convenient and quick setup. And actually it's a, it's a very large shower room as well. So there's plenty of room in there for you to get changed and everything in privacy. The shower pod on the rear of our campus is just as easy to put away as it is to get out. Let me show you how. First, you grab the clips along the front end and clip them up into the roof. There's four on the outside here. And then do the four on the inside, just tucking the bag away as you do it. Do the last two on this side. As you fold the shower pod down, you just want to make sure that there's no large parts of the bag getting in between the way. Rest the shower pod clip on one side. As you walk around and tuck all the tassels out the way, attach that side, fully bring it into the side of the vent there to make sure it's dust proof. And then finally, just bring your spare wheel back over. And there you go, all packed up. The Rhinomax Scorpion, as well as our full range of campers, now comes standard with our in-house designed dustproof entrance door. This has been designed especially with touring the outback of Australia in mind, and is completely dustproof and waterproof. Let me show you some of the features now. As you can see, there's a full length continuous hinge here, which is backed up by three compression locks all the way down this side here, which allows for an even compression of the seal all the way around. That seal is a continuous submarine style hatch all the way around here, which remains unbroken and provides excellent seal. The door itself is made out of the same insulated fiberglass as the whole body of the camper here and comes with a double glazed insulated window here with a fly screen and block out blind built in there. The window itself also opens to allow for ventilation and hinges back here to ensure that it doesn't blow in the wind. Here we are on the inside of the Scorpion and the first thing that I want to express is how bright and spacious it is. That is really helped by this huge pop top with all of the windows in it that let in a lot of light and air. Perfect for when you're out camping. This couch area is really comfortable and can sit three people comfortably and four at a push. If the weather's bad outside, there's plenty of room on the inside here for you. Now, under the bed area over here, there's two very large deep storage drawers, perfect for keeping all of your clothing and everything in. There's also 12 volt power points down here and speakers for the onboard entertainment system. As we move around here, I'm actually sitting on top of the port loop which can be used on the inside here or taken outside and put in the ensuite on the rear of the van. The rear unit here has got three large cupboards along the top, four drawers and two smaller cupboards along the bottom here, fully taking advantage of all of the space at the back here and providing as much storage as possible in this small camper. Now up on the rear bench here, you can accessorize a few things like there's fans on this one. You can even have a small sink on the inside here to provide a bit of extra utility. 
This corner pod here has actually got our standard, the Rhinomax Digital Command Center here. So this tablet here gives you access and control to all of the onboard lights and power systems and gives you full monitoring of all of your water tanks and your light power use. What we're going to do next is show you through the camper on the inside at nighttime mode. To put the Scorpion into nighttime mode, it's as simple as grabbing the bed frame here and gently lowering it down. The gas strut's doing most of the work for you. Once it's down, you've got a full queen-sized pocket spring mattress, which will give you a great night's sleep. That's aided by the fact that there's blinds on all of the windows and little reading lights on either side there just to make it extra comfortable for you. As you can see, even with the bed down, there's plenty of room for one person to be standing here or sat down here. If you're reading a book while your partner's in bed, it's very comfortable. And even for such a small camper, there's still lots of utility on the inside with the bed down. Now once you're done and you're up in the morning, the bed can be made and with the bed still fully made, raise it up into the roof as easy as that and you've got enough room here for three of you to sit down on the couch on the inside. Very convenient for such a small van. Hey guys, so that was our walkthrough of the Scorpion 10 foot micro hybrid camper. I think you'll agree that it's a fantastic little unit. If you're interested in any more information or would like to get hold of the team, head to our website or give us a call. Thanks guys.